Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.23 p.m. here on October 20th, Friday, end of the week, and we're ending up, um, well up, actually, above the uh, the lows from the European and trade in the Asian uh, trading session, where we hit a low of 50.59. And believe it, we're over a dollar higher from there. Uh, not much higher than yesterday. Actually, we only touched about two cents above yesterday's high, um, but higher still. Um, and ultimately, I did sell my long um, at where we are right now, 51.70, and I'll tell you that, about that in a little bit here. But um, basically, what happened was we spent the entire day pretty much moving up. Um, when uh, when we moved up the first time, I decided to buy, uh, rebuy, I should say, a smaller position in the shorts at a crude price of 51.60, which was um, at the time. A really good buy because we only hit 51.61, uh, so I missed the top by one penny. Uh, we drifted down, uh, back down to a low of um, 51.11, and had we stayed there, I would have considered selling, um, but we moved right back up um, and uh, to this new high of 51.70 that you see here right now. Um, well, 5172 actually. We're, we're settling in at 5070 and uh, we haven't moved in quite a while now so I decided that it's probably the end of the trading session. Um, and uh, I was really on the fence as to whether or not to sell um, the, uh, the long where we are right now at 5170. Um, I kind of wanted to look for a target closer to 52 but ultimately I decided to sell here because of the lows that we had seen in the European and Asian trading session. Um, the reality is that, you know, my target return, let's say, for this position is irrelevant. And the fact that we're well over a dollar higher off the lows um, gives me, you know, pause and some some consideration that I might be able to repurchase this long again. Um, maybe even better than I did before. Um, originally, I purchased at a uh, crude price of 51.24. And considering how low we've gone um, just today, um, it's not you know unrealistic to think that I could rebuy close to that or even better. Um, that being said, uh, with the uh, purchase of the short that I did at 51.60 when we started to drop, um, I was looking actually at selling that um, along with my next short at 50.70. Um, the combined short would be break even at about $51 even. Um, so if we had gotten that low or lower, I would have sold both those in order in hopes of repositioning a single position in uh, lieu of those two. Um, but I didn't quite get that chance. Um, so yeah, it, it's not exactly the the play that I wanted uh, for today, but it is what it is, and you kind of just respond to what the market gives you. Um, so if we take a look at my uh, tradingjournal.ca account here, you can see that um, the long that I purchased yesterday, just over a day ago on the 19th, uh, was sold for a return of 1.91%. Per, per, it was a very small position and a profit of $205 and some change. Um, yeah, so like I said, I would have preferred to get out of some shorts and keep my long or even add to my long positions um, you know, trying to rebalance that portfolio, which is once again entirely bearish. Um, but like I said, you gotta take what you're given. Um, and this is how the day played out. So yeah, I'll just be a little bit more aggressive with rebuying that uh, long um, on Monday if I get the chance. How did you guys do? Did you guys, uh, were you able to benefit from the swings up and down today? Uh, let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc, etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys over the weekend to do a weekend review and a look ahead at the week coming up. And until then, good luck and happy weekending. Cheers.